Hello everyone, welcome back to Dead Cells. It's immediately straight away. I do not know what to do here. Let's just let's just do it. <laughs> I don't know if one's better. Okay, I think the first thing we're going to do is that. I feel like the X is going to be better as that than the other one, but they were in the other order just now. Beginner's bow. Excuse me. Why did you decide that I wanted that? Get this mouse po pointer off my screen. Get the mouse pointer off. There we go. You can't see that. I can see that. No, I don't want this. You can take it, but you can't sell it. Ammo comes back after enemies, no doubt. What about this one, then? Nah. So these are just like the default... Um, default of each of those. Which I, I don't really care about. And I don't want to use the frontline shield. I just want a, a run that I can win, although I'm not sure I'm going to get one. <laughs> right, so it's... Hell said it's more like a... Um, uh, a blood sword than the um, the frost blast, which I guess makes sense because it does cause a, a like a damage over time effect. But well, in that case, maybe it's uh, let's see. <laughs> we just have to figure it out as we go along. The the whip is obviously a bit more of a ranged attack. Although this is not the correct way of doing it. I thought that it caused a. Um, crit at the end of its thing, but that might be just a specific type of whip. It's not very good. I don't know if the electric part is, like, better than I'm giving it credit for being, but I do appreciate that the ground is on fire. I do appreciate that I just took damage. And when I say appreciate, I mean I understand it, and it's not my fault. Uh, no. We've tried Lord Sword, and it wasn't good enough. We may come back to it another time, but for now, we just sort of need to see if we can find stuff, you know? improve our standing in the game, give ourselves more options for the beginning room as well. Ooh. So, uh, what? I'm sorry, Torch. I'm not sorry, Torch. I'm sorry, Electric Whip, which I don't use. Um, just go down. Stop grabbing onto corners. There we go. Uh, but we are taking a colourless item because there is no wrong thing to do. Why are there just sandals lying around? How weird. There, there is no incorrect build when you have a colourless item, basically. Well, there might be. It depends on the other items, but one of them being colourless just means you have that much of an advantage. Which means we might as well go with a brutality one, because well, first of all, it already appears to be improving our brutality, and secondly, it is everything we've got is brutality-based, so that's really good. Everything else we've got. Okay. It's no wonder I'm doing so much badness, because... Come on. Also, the DPS we're getting out of this sword is insane. And the torch means that we can burn things like the shield thing. Yeah, no, I don't care. Believe me. Uh, which is... This is just silly. This is already an amazing run, and I'm glad that I split the episode into two. Although I apologise if you are hoping for one long one. You can probably tell up front that it's a 20 minute video because it tells you how long the video is. Also, end of the last video, a little bit weird. Um, ooh, bag. Because I pressed the wrong keys to try and make it stop. Maybe wrong to run, it's just that it isn't mine, but it, they're all dead anyway. Good attitude to take, in my opinion. Let's go back to that uh, item room that we can see. Treasure chest up there, which we managed to miss somehow. And uh, so we win. I appreciate having the burning... Ooh, what now? I don't know. It's it's a good bow, but we've already got better just straight up. What? Uh, this this sword is an amazing get, and I have a funny feeling it's going to last us a while as well. So I might not need to do things like risk the silly... Just did that. Um, might not have to risk those silly challenge rune places because who cares? I've got everything I need right here. This could last us the entire game, I feel. It depends how well it scales with everything that we do, but since it doesn't matter, as long as we realise that we have to, you know, put our um, points in brutality as it is to keep scaling that colourless item, then we're pretty much golden. Should we go to the sewers? I think I've accidentally turned around. Instead of going to the sewers, but let's do it. You know, this is a this is a not experimental run, so I'm feeling like we can go quite far. Up oh, there we go, and nice. Yeah, <laughs> nothing can stop me now. 
Oops. Except for being a complete idiot. Why did you throw that that way? Oh, you threw it at the biters. And we picked up the blueprint for our magnetic grenade just before we leave, which means there is no opportunity for me to completely screw everything up. And lose it. I think the magnetic grenade has a lot of really cool synergies. As you can imagine, because it sucks things into you. Or into it. Right. We want that to be ready, but we don't want it yet. Because the next time we have a terrible start, we only have to get through the first floor and we get an explosive crossbow. Uh, grenade. Damage at max HP, which is brilliant because we're already doing max damage. I think I'm going to... Oh, we can't upgrade it. So... Heck it then. Let's not bother. Let us take a decent... Look, we... Uh, yeah. I think that's the right one. Because we can enable burning trivially with our torch. I'm, I'm understanding the value of torch. Um, obviously the damage over time basically makes up for the fact that you are not freezing the enemies in position, which is why it is somewhat different from the uh, frost blast, which we haven't used for a while. So, that's cool. I'm glad that we're diversifying away from what could easily have turned out to be a, a rather one-track, one-trick pony sort of affair. <laughs> Into... Uh, I think the um, the availability of all these really decent um, mutations is giving me a lot more scope for not doing the same thing in every single blink and run, and also the fact that we've started unlocking things just so that they can appear in the next run, because for the longest time we didn't put anything in um, unlockables simply because we wanted to make sure that we had something that could be unlocked if we had a rubbish run, but then we sort of changed our tune on that and started putting things, so I'd unlocking the things so that we can just start with those things in the first place, which has been a lot better. That was probably nearly terrible timing, but we did okay. Everything is brutality, so there's almost no point taking it until we're getting so little HP out of each one that it, it just does nothing for us. We want to go down there. Is that actual sandals or a blue pin? Blue, it's actual sandals. Why are they down there and why? Like, there's two different versions of why, if you catch my drift. One of them is, how did you get there? And the other one is, what is the point? Just roll through here. How far can you roll? I can't see a blinking thing. Excuse me? I appear to be... Yeah, okay. Um, uh, no. <laughs> I'm not having that. I don't know if that's a bug or if there's like a, a rune that I can get that shows me the stuff, but not telling me what... Not letting me see what my character should clearly be able to see is a little rude in my opinion. So I'm gonna... Leave that for now and let someone tell me that I'm being unfair and it's not at all to do with... It's not a bug and it is completely just... I can't use that. Wow. Cool. Uh, it's completely intentional. I'm going to guess that it's completely intentional and... That's called the benefit of the doubt, which I like to give anything whenever I can. Unless, of course, it's me that needs the benefit of the doubt, in which case I'm taking it. You know, fair's fair. If I'm going to always give the benefit of the doubt, then it seems fair that when I need the benefit of the doubt, I should be able to sort of take it. I've like karmaically given myself all the benefits of every doubt up front so that no one else can complain about anything. Yeah, that's that's how life works. Absolutely. freaking lootly I forgot that I can use the other stick to look around, actually. As I do every time, and I keep mentioning it. Rah! Try to, um, try to hit that Joker. Joker did not get hit. I mean, I could just grenade him. <laughs> Don't know if I want to go for the grenade meta in this run, because it's kind of not really that much fun. I'd rather get skills that start off with not very much um, cooldown in the first place, and also give me other better effects, like not being bad. <laughs> I know, I know. I probably could have made that a lot more eloquent, but why? I want things that aren't bad. Uh, which isn't to say that the grenades themselves are bad, it's just that there are things that are way better, like this, for example, might be really good. It's not, um... I know it's not, actually. <laughs> it's got the same cooldown and isn't red. Shiny pebble? 
Could have done better than that. Why put that in a rune? I'm going to assume that these runes are like magical safes that people have been putting in the walls. Just to keep their valuables valuable. I'm going to say no. Although it is still a pretty decent amount of DPS considering the one that we've currently got is uh, like a legendary style. Oh, that was good. <laughs> have this. Does this burn you? No, have this. Eh, I'll do. Bit of a waste of all my ammunition and stuff, but whatever. Not really using them very much, so I might as well use them for fun things like that. And then of course we're going to need them immediately and everything's going to go horribly wrong. It's fine, don't worry about it. I couldn't roll again because I forgot about the cooldown. Where did the other one go? One of those things charged me and then just disappeared. How strange. Ah, queer. Where's my washboard? Have you seen it? <laughs> no, this button. There we go. Right. I wasn't looking. I don't know why. It's startling how often I could be not looking at the screen when I'm playing a video game. Everything's going well, so I'm sort of waiting for the other shoe to drop. <laughs> you catch my drift. If you like my other idiom, there's another idiom for you that I have no comprehension of. Waiting for the other... It's either shoe or foot. It kind of depends on who you talk to, I suppose. I am seeing a thing up here which I would like to investigate. So, bear with me a second. I'm, I'm going all out on the proper, you know, min-max in this game. But I saw down here... Oh. A siop. Nope, nope, nope. I'm not even going to re-roll you because you have offended me with your substandard merchandise to begin with. Is this a different way to go? Nice. See, I like that things are just, like, capitulating once in a while. In the previous run, which may have been yesterday, it may have been the previous one today, depending on how I feel. Things just got back up again. There was no way of me to... Uh, there was no way for me to prevent things from actually attacking me, even though I had a shield and a thing that's supposed to stun enemies. So that was a bit rude. But here we are. It's fine. Appreciate this too. What did that say? Creative weapons. Don't quite get what these crates are doing here, but so be it. We got a bow and endless quiver. Having unlimited ammo is cool, but again, look. <laughs> what the heck? Whatever this thing is, it's pretty obvious that it grew, or evolved, or mutated. In any case, I've got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, me too, giant hole. That thing didn't waste any time getting out of here. Must be a cute and cuddly little thing by now. Yeah. Let's go and find it. So what we got out of this was the bow and a little bit of lore. There's a whole bunch of these gross things running around our um, island, which is constantly recreating itself anyway, so it could be anywhere by now. Uh. There. Happy? Sold it. Sold a greed shield. How ironic. How fitting? Ramparts. Let's go Let's go the hard way. We're doing well. We haven't used any of our... Oh, I have used a healing, but that's because I screwed up a jumping puzzle. No, it wasn't. It's because I couldn't see. Which is rude. I kind of knew that there would be damage sort of around the corner for me there, but I did it anyway. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. That's actually a fitting use of that idiom. Which also is not necessarily so much of an idiom as you might think, because of course... I mean, it's idiomatic. But... It's like, it, it means what it says. Hayabusa Boots. The last kick inflicts area of effect damage and pushes enemies back. They could be good. Let's just unlock as many things as we can so that our... Um, well, shield is good. So that our uh, future runs start off well. I like combo. Combo is a good one. Let's try not to die on this level, because I have a history of doing so. And I would like to not do so this time. And should just take him to lift. It's fine. Get up. Man. One short episode when I try to do something new. One long episode where I try to do something new, but in a different sense. So, the length of the episode kind of determines how much new stuff I get done. Honestly, 
there's every chance that we don't get anything new done at all. Uh, well, we did find the magnetic grenade, I suppose, so there is that. Um, one unlocked blueprint is not necessarily the best, uh, you know, it's not the the greatest of achievements because the blueprint itself is it's good, but not you know it's not groundbreaking in and of itself. I like that you get a speed up when you uh, kill things in many cases. Why did I? Right. I was like, where did that grenade come from? I remember. It's the weapon that I have that creates a grenade. I wonder if this grenade counts for anything that, like, upgrade your grenades. Is there anything that does that? Maybe. Careful. Don't be a silly boy. A silly boy. Nice. Nothing can stand this onslaught right now, which is fine with me. Let's get more brutality and increase the damage of all the enemies, and of course, myself. This is kind of why you don't want to overcommit, or sort of undercommit, I guess, um, to a specific one. You want to commit to a branch of those three and sort of let the other two support you, because if you have a balanced build, all the enemies are going to get stronger, that your stat that is actually giving you DPS or XP or whichever one you've got the, the primary use of is, is your primary ooh, primary use in the thingy. Sadist's, sadist's stiletto. That's hard to say, so I don't want to use it. Um, the, yeah, you need a primary stat so that you can your DPS can keep up with the enemies so the enemies don't kill you. Q... What are all these weird noises? Oh, okay. They all died. Just using one torch means everything dies really quickly. Especially these slightly weaker enemies that come out of the stronger enemies, but I don't really need them. Don't mind using the occasional uh, grenade there, just speed things up. Well, this is one of those runs where we just start talking about nothing at all. What do you want to talk about today? It's got to that time of year where I'm taking a... I am wrapping up warm to get to work in the first place, and then when I get to work, I'm sweltering. I do cycle to work, but that's not the reason. I just prefer having these um, brutality things right now. Um, obviously, I'm warm when I get to work because I cycled up the hill, but it's not that big a hill. It only takes me 10 minutes or so. Why are there no teleports in this game? Um, it is... Just that the sun comes out. How dare it? So here's me wrapping up completely because it's freezing in the morning. It's not just cold, you know. It's it's chilly as heck. Now, mind you, my tolerance for cold has gone down out a lot somehow in the past few however longs, which doesn't fill me with joy and gratitude for the life that we live. In fact, rather, it's, it kind of feels like I'm being penalised for living this long. Uh, I'm old now, that's what I'm saying. Help. That wasn't good. Let's just use this. Um, but I, I have solutions to being cold, which is to wear more clothes. I don't have to die of the cold anymore because it's not the Middle Ages anymore. So I put more clothes on. And the clothes that I've got are, are very efficient at keeping me warm. As you'd expect, because it's the modern world. I guess from the perspective of future people, it's not the modern world yet. But it is this modern world, which is a modern world, which is modern enough for the blinking clothes that I wear to keep me warm, right? Which is what I want them to do when I'm cycling, because moving at you know, 15 miles an hour tends to cause a bit of wind chill factor in the first place. So then, like every day, even when it was hot, Cycling up the hill would properly make my eyes water, which is the worst thing, because then you can't see. And not being able to see when cycling is a little bit worse than not being able to see in many other situations, because people don't really care for the fact that you are soft <laughs> when you're a cyclist. Most people on the roads, believe it or not, are just driving a ton and a half of metal at 30 miles an hour, whilst you're unprotected driving you know, a few, maybe a kilogram or two of metal at 15 miles an hour, and it's not as much fun. Help. <laughs> Let me out. 
Nice. The quick sword is grand because of the fact that it's quick. Balanced blade. Being able to decimate these things nice and fast is grand. Uh, I saw a thing in the wall just now. Poisons the enemy. More damage. I think we replace this powerful grenade for now, to be honest. We can come back for that. That's 50% HP. Happy to see it. I'm being uh, reckless, which is fun, but not going to last long. It's not sustainable, for sure. Um, I guess we just put something in survival for now. Just get the HP up. Why? I didn't even see you spawn. That's a bit rude, isn't it? Nice. Nah. Um, so, I get to work and I've got... It's covered in the modern era's equivalent of you know, sheets and blankets. I've got hoodie on and I've had my... So I, I did this thing where I put my hoodie up, the hood of my hoodie up, and then put my helmet on over the top of it. So that my ears don't get cold, which is, you know, extremities getting cold is probably the most worst bit of being cold. So I, I prevented that by not letting my extremities get cold. Ah! Uh, but then, of course, I'm nice and toasty, get to work. Sun comes out. It's already out, but it's not been out for very long because it's the morning. All of a sudden, the entire office is toasty. Plus, people do like to... Ooh. I don't think ice is going to work for us, unfortunately, because of the fact that we've got the torch. Um, I know I'm using the torch as a support weapon when I feel like it would be a pretty good primary weapon, but I don't know. I feel like it's working okay. really mean to do that. <laughs> I thought I had a grenade on there still. Anyway, then I have to, I've also got my jacket on the top of all that. So then I've got a jacket and a jumper and I have to cycle home again in the uh, in the evening and it's not started getting cold again yet. I'm under, oh why? I'm so salty. <laughs> I got stun locked again. This game is so good at stun locking me and I used the wrong I press the grenade button, which used to be a grenade, not the grenade button. It's still a grenade, which is something that I need to work on because every time I think I've got a grenade on the right trigger, I've actually got something new. Shouldn't really be doing that. Anyway, thank you for watching. I apologise for yet another short episode, but again, I was apologising for long episodes, so you just can't win. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you'll see me in the next one, and I hope you will leave a subscribe and a like and tell all your friends. But until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you, and I'll try and press the right buttons this time.